Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart, and Ashley Green. Twilight stars dominate this year's Pop Sugar 100 list of vampires and werewolves, but there was a big upset at the number one spot. Pop Sugar editor Lindsay Miller and Pop Sugar TV's Lauren Bradshaw and Carly Bolnas explain the top 10 and why Robert Pattinson didn't win. Number 10, Taylor Lautner. Twilight stars took six of the top 10 spots on the list this year with Taylor Lautner just edging in. He's hot, he's young, he's athletic, super modest, and he's the only werewolf to crack the top 10, which goes to show that fans just aren't into the wolf pack as they are those sexy vampires. Number nine, Paul Wesley. The Vampire Diaries is this huge hit on the CW and fans really seem to love it, including me. So I wasn't surprised to see three of the stars of the show on the top 10 list this year. Paul Wesley plays the very sexy, very sensitive, and always dependent boyfriend is Stefan Salvatore. I hated that boy. I know, me too. Stefan is definitely hot, but his good guy act also sometimes feels a little bit boring, so that may explain why he's further down on the list this year. Number eight, Peter Facinelli. So Peter Facinelli is just one of several Twilight Saga stars who landed on the list this year, but what really sets him apart from the rest of the cast is his connection to fans. Peter is constantly checking in on Twitter, posting behind the scenes details and videos, and the fans not only seem to appreciate it, but Peter really seems to enjoy being a part of the phenomenon. Number seven, Nina Dobrev. This top 10 list was definitely dominated by guys, but Nina Dobrev made it as one of the only girls on the list. You have to admit, I am getting better at this. I love seeing her torture the Salvatore boys and just be a total baddie, and I really think that's why she made it on this list. Number six, Alexander Skarsgård. Eric Northman is easily one of the hottest vampires on TV, so it's no wonder that Alexander Skarsgård came in at number six. Number five, Kristen Stewart. Kristen has already won so many fans as Bella in the Twilight Saga. Bella and Edward have one of the most romantic storylines in movies today. And off screen too, Kristen and Rob are a really cute couple, so they've won a lot of fans both through their characters and their real life love. Number four, Kellen Lutz. Kellen Lutz's abs could probably be credited for earning him a top 10 spot, especially since he doesn't mind showing them off when running with his dogs or shooting those sexy Calvin Klein ads. But let's give credit where credit is due. He has some of the best one-liners in all the Twilight movies. Getting an older woman, huh? Number three, Ashley Green. It's an amazing showing that Ashley is number three on the list, and the high placement could be because she's been building this reputation for having great red carpet style. Her star is definitely on the rise, even outside the Twilight phenomenon, and her sweet and unassuming nature as Alice Cullen make her a fan favorite. Number two, Robert Pattinson. Well, Edward Cullen is obviously one of the sexiest, most romantic vampires in movies and TV, but Rob also has a lot of other things going on besides just the Twilight Saga. He was in Water for Elephants this year where he got to show another side of himself. And he's also got the movie Cosmopolis, which he's been shooting this summer. And your number one hottest vampire or werewolf is Ian Summerhalder. I think everyone's going to be surprised by the fact that Ian Summerhalder beat out Robert Pattinson this year. Maybe it's because there's just so many Twilight people on this list, they sort of canceled each other out and let Ian move all the way to number one. But I guess it just goes to show you that you really shouldn't underestimate the Vampire Diaries fanatics. So did you agree with this year's number one? Tell us in the comments.